What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another episode of the Strange Lure Challenge. Putting the band back together. We're on a mission from God. This episode is actually going to feature two lures. I found both of them off Amazon and they are very strange. One is a dragonfly and the other is a cicada or a locust. Both topwater lures and I'm very intrigued to see how they perform. So I'm heading out to a hidden pond right now to put them to the test and hopefully catch some fish today. All right guys, so I'm actually going to be doing some fishing with my buddy Alex. Pulling up right now. Feed him here by a few minutes. I'm actually kidding. He beat me here by about 10 minutes. He got angry and left. So he's back now. I don't know if I trust this old piece of wood. Did it. All right, guys, we made it out to the pond. I'm going to try out this little dragonfly lure first. Tell you what, the wings on this dragonfly make it very difficult to cast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this lure. It's kind of weird. It doesn't really do anything. What, just like walk it or something? No, it is upside down right now. Oh, shit. All right, I think I found, see the key is to not actually move it. Toss it out there and it looks like a dragonfly just, you know, messed up and flopped in the water. Fish on. There we go. Caught one with the dragonfly. See you later, buddy. All right, guys, I got the locust tied on. Let's see how this thing looks in the water. Oh, I can cast a lot further with this one. All right, so the action is pretty similar to a Pompadour Jr. If a Pompadour Jr. had a horrible action. Oh, it's not very good. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Although it has a pretty bad action, uh, it only took two casts to catch a fish, so I think they like how shiny this lure is. See you later, buddy. Oh, there we go. Fish number two with the locust lure. See you later, buddy. I gotta say, guys, after fishing with uh, both those Amazon lures, not very impressed with either of their actions. I think that they're more of a more gimmicky than anything. <laughs> great, great catch. Catch of the day. There are so many dragonflies out here. None of them look like my dragonfly lure. There we go. All right, third fish with the locust. See you later, buddy. I've been grinding it out with these two Amazon lures for the past couple hours. And, uh, Overall, I would not recommend that you guys buy these. I'm still gonna fish with them just to get my money's worth. They were pretty cheap to begin with. But uh, yeah, pretty disappointed with the action from both these baits. Oh my God. <laughs> nah, I care a little bit. No biggie. Just a little water, a little mud, a little muck. We're good. Oh, 
Oh. That guy hit it so hard. Holy cow. I think this guy hit this bait harder than any other fish today. Also happens to be the smallest. See you later, buddy. That's a good. <laughs> All right, Locust Lure is making a comeback. Oh, that's a good couple last casts right there. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I gave both Amazon lures, I think, a fair shot. Both of them failed pretty badly, but uh, the Locust Lure etched out the lead with I think four fish total. Yeah, I would not recommend that you guys get these. They're cool little lures, but definitely not worth it, even if they aren't that much to begin with. So I had fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Dude, I wish you would have oh, got. Don't try to play it off like you're just looking. <laughs> like you just expect it. I just want to take a break. Who cares at this point? Waiters. Who needs them? Who needs them? <laughs> it's a good day of fishing right there. <laughs>